right, so we have a 24-year-old woman who presents to the emergency department with a headache and receives a lumbar puncture. She's eventually discharged home in improved condition, but returns 24 hours later with a worsened headache, now throbbing in nature, which is worse in a standing position and relieved in the supine position. Which of the following reduces the risk of post-lumbar puncture headache? All right, so let's look at the answer choices. A, inserting the needle bevel perpendicular to the spine. B, lying supine for one hour after the lumbar puncture is completed. C, using a higher gauge needle. Or D, using a quinky needle. So let's dissect the question and find out exactly what it is we're being asked. On one hand, this is a rather straightforward question, which is good because anybody who returns to the emergency department after receiving a lumbar puncture and continues to have symptoms or worse symptoms is always concerning clinically. Of course, post-dural headache, post-LP headache is the most common complication of a lumbar puncture, but you just never know. Maybe, you know, if you were doing a lumbar puncture for meningitis, maybe the meningitis is getting worse. And so that's always a concern. But in this case, on the board exam, the test writer is being a little generous to us. And the lead-in asks, which of the following reduces the risk of a post-lumbar puncture headache? All right. So now we need to know about post-LP headaches. Let's go through our answer choices. Inserting the needle bevel perpendicular to the spine. So you're probably familiar with the positioning of the needle does affect the likelihood of a post-LP headache. So the question is, what is the position? Is it perpendicular? Actually, it is not perpendicular. In fact, inserting the needle perpendicular, the bevel may lead to worsening risk for post-LP headache. It's parallel. So we're going to cross off this answer choice. You want to, when you're doing an LP, the proper positioning is to insert the bevel parallel to the spine. All right. And choice B, lying supine for one hour after the lumbar puncture is completed. You know, it's certainly that's practice clinically. However, it really has not been shown in studies to decrease the risk of post-LP headache. So we're going to cross off answer choice B as well. Using a higher gauge needle or using a quinky needle. Now, a quinky needle, it's a standard cutting spinal needle, and it has a bevel, if you've ever seen it. It has a nice kind of slanted bevel. It is the most common needle that is used in lumbar puncture kits. However, the reason why we use it is it's thought to separate dural fibers as opposed to cutting them. However, the needle itself has not been shown to reduce the risk of post-LP headache. All right, so I'm going to cross off answer choice D. So that leads us with using a higher gauge needle, and this is absolutely correct. Now, remember, a higher gauge needle right, corresponds with a smaller caliber needle, all right? Higher gauge needle, smaller caliber needle. And you can think about that like, right, when you're placing an IV, an 18 gauge IV versus, you know, a 24 gauge IV, the 24 gauges, the caliber is much smaller. So the smaller you could go, the less risk of a leak. And so this is our answer choice, C, using a higher gauge needle. And let's confirm that. And sure enough, that is the case. Hey everyone, before you go, if you're interested in your own QBank, whether you are an MD or DO, a PA or an MP, simply go to roshreview.com and sign up for a free trial. See if Rosh Review's content is right for you. Keep learning, keep working hard, and always have a sense of mission about your work. Now is your time. This is Dr. Adam Rosh, signing off.